Due to Hero's lack of good normals, he is left to rely mostly on his use of movement through specials such as wave bouncing in order to get in. Perhaps the most useful of all of his specials is Menu. Hero has 21 moves he can pull from, most of which are very strong, yet many players do not top deck due to desire for more control and less random outcome in their gameplay. I'm here to answer a few questions and to shed some light onto the usefulness of top decking as a potential option in Hero's play. We of course first think to avoid top decking for one reason. This move. While Kamikaze is rather scary, the odds of pulling the spell are actually rather small. Consider the following. In any given scenario upon the first time opening up your menu, the odds of getting top deck Kamikaze is 1 in 21, or roughly 4.9%. This odd is shared every time you come back on a fresh stock and ends the second that the menu is closed. The odds of getting Kamikaze are far lower than expected in reality. It should also be considered that if Kamikaze itself shows up in the deck, your next top deck is guaranteed to not be Kamikaze. This means that anytime you are using the menu and you see Kamikaze in the deck and choose to use a different spell, you can safely top deck without the threat of getting Kamikaze on your next pull. You can also simply close the menu. A second, more applicable scenario comes into play when discussing how to use the menu multiple times in a row and not just top decking off of a fresh stock. Since every spell is guaranteed to not repeat twice, your odds of pulling top deck kamikaze go up after your first pulling on a stock, going from 1 in 21 to 1 in 17, or roughly 5.7%. This statistic is so more applicable given that you will be top decking far more with this percentage than you would the former. The same notion still applies that Kamikaze will not show up twice in a row. Each time you open a menu, you have a 5.7% chance on average to pull top deck Kamikaze, with these odds remaining as such as long as you remember not to use both instances of heal on a single stock. Doing so will raise the odds of getting top deck Kamikaze to 1 out of 16, or 6.25%, because heal will no longer show up unless you die or take your opponent's stock. Some people may already be saying, well what about Kaklang and Hocus Pocus? These can be bad as well. Absolutely, these spells are both poor rules. Rolling Hocus Pocus snooze can end up getting you killed, and Kaklang can also do so if the opponent knows how to deal with it. In these scenarios, the most important thing to realize is that Hocus Pocus has the rarest chance of appearing on the menu, which I'll talk about in a minute, and Kaklang has the advantage of seeing if your opponent actually understands how to punish it. If they do not, you can continue to top deck with only the risk of Kamikaze coming up on the menu. It should be noted that you should never top deck while Hero is off stage due to the fact that Kaklang will kill you. Aside from spitting pure conjecture, the most important piece of this that I want to share is some data. I took a sample of two separate statistics. This represents top decking off of a fresh stock on a sample size of 200. As you can see, various spells appeared less and more frequently, which falls in line with the second piece of the top deck equation, which is do all spells have the same odds of appearing? The answer is, well, no, they do not. I compared the results I found with a similar sample from another player, linked in the description below, and our results were fairly similar. What this data shows is that as we noted earlier, Hocus Pocus being top decked is extremely rare, with a 1% chance of pulling. Conversely, we can see that projectile spells such as Kaboom, Bang, and Snooze appeared fairly frequently. Hatchet Man as well seemed to pop up frequently, as did Flame Slash and Crackle Slash. The data shows that in Trials alone, the odds of pulling top deck Kamikaze is roughly 3%. In order to fact check this further with the pure notion that we wanted to avoid Kamikaze alone, I ran a similar test with every menu after the initial one to see if we could pull top deck Kamikaze. The other scores here do not matter, as they are skewed and unreliable given that I was only testing if Kamikaze showed up. If it did appear as top deck, I wrote down as a hit, if Kamikaze showed up on the same deck, but not as top deck, I closed the menu, opened and closed another menu, and then checked for Kamikaze again on the following menu as top deck. The second test was done with a sample of 300 trials, and has resulted in a similar score of 9 over 300, or 3%. The conclusion that we can make off of this is that the likelihood of proccing top deck hero is closer to 3% in reality due to variance in spell likelihood. The final piece I want to say about this, when I'm not reading off of a script, is that I think it really comes down to preference. I think that top decking has a lot of usefulness that should be considered as part of the game plan. One of the biggest things that I think about top decking is the fact that if you use a spell this quickly, it is nearly unreactable. 
you have to consider things such as you might get bounce, you might get accelerate, you could get oomph or psych up. I think it really just depends on how you like to play. I personally think that top decking with a 3% chance to get kamikaze and everything else being really negligible, with the exception of maybe Kaklang if the opponent knows how to deal with it, or accidentally getting the 1% chance Hocus Pocus, is super fun to do, and it really could throw your opponent off. I don't think this is a strategy where you should just run around and only be top decking every two seconds like I've been showing in the training mode of this demo here, but I think that it's a really great mix-up to do because you could get something hella good. You could run up to somebody in neutral when they're trying to space you out and magic burst them at 60% and they die because you did one thing. Where you could run up to somebody, they don't know what you're doing because you don't know what you're about to do, hatchet man them and break their shield because they panic out of an option. I think it's just something to consider as part of the game plan, and it's really not as bad as people think it is. I think that yes, we can always look at statistical data and say, oh well, in the one game I played, I got Kamikaze three times in 50 uses. And sure, that's going to happen, it's going to be part of it. And I think a piece to consider about that too is as long as you're running up to people when you're using your down B options, if you Kamikaze point blank, the only thing that someone can do about that is have the reaction speed to jump and air dodge or spot dodge in place. And if they don't, as long as you're not doing this on your last stock, it's pretty much going to be able to close a kill if they're at like 60. So personally, I think that this is a really good strategy to implement. Maybe something to play around with and see how you like it. I personally have been having a lot of fun playing this since day one, and I think that Top Deck Hero can actually spice things up a little bit. So I hope that this video was useful. Maybe you'll consider trying out Top Deck Hero. It's definitely fun. I mean, this killer, this killer, it's not Dead by Daylight. This character uh, was made with the premise of Hose Mad. So take it easy.